we see that the current the low price is two dollars and ninety five cents. The projected high is seven dollars and ninety seven cents. If that happens, that will be a gain of a hundred and seventy point seventeen percent. Hey guys, um, I re I usually drop the this week's winning stocks video series to let you know which fundamentally sound stocks are at their annual low price and those are usually stocks that are around thirty dollars and above but as of just recently i i'm having an app developed which will find fundamentally sound stocks that are at their annual low price and it finds them all that's including penny stocks i generally don't like penny stocks because it's like a needle in a haystack a haystack trying to find the ones that are um safe but this app is finding penny stocks that have positive earnings of at least four out of five years. So I want to present to you a few opportunities, some penny stocks that I've found, and I've bought these myself. And the first one we're starting with is a company named Bruge Energy, B-R-O-G. Bruge Energy is currently at a dollar to a share. In 2019, you'll see they had negative earnings, but in 2011, 2020, 11 cents a share, 2021, 15 cents a share, 2022, 44 cents a share. I don't have the number for 2023, but in the current year 2024, they're projected at 69 cents a share for the earnings per share. Now, if we look at this company over the last few years, in 2019 at their low price, they was at $8.83, high price $11.27. In 2020, low price $7.78, High price $12.99. 2021 low price $8.25. High price $11.15. 2022 low price $4.90. High price $9.35. I'm sorry. And 2023. Low price two dollars and seventy five cents, high price six dollars and forty five cents. So they are dropping from year to year the last few years. Currently, now they're at a dollar four. But Yahoo doesn't have an estimate on them. But when I look at my estimate based on PE ratio. I see them moving up to possibly $3.78 in the next 12 months. Now, for those who've watched my channel, you know that I do a full analysis on stocks to see if they're fundamentally sound. However, for a lot of these penny stocks, they don't have the data. So I couldn't do the full analysis to tell you whether they're fundamentally sound or not. However, like I said, the positive earnings each year and the earnings increasing is a sign. It shows me that from year to year, at least they're not losing money. So, and let's go back here for one second. 
this stock was at well let's change this was it a dollar f well no I can't change that but you see it was a dollar four when I caught it like yesterday if it moves up to that 378 which we suspect that would be an increase of 263.46 percent so you never know with stocks but just something to consider and for those who like penny stocks this is something with positive earnings every year and we see they had an earning date that recently passed the next one we have information services group ticker symbol III if we look at their earnings per share 7 cents in 2019 6 in 2020 that was COVID lockdown year 32 cents in 2021 41 cents in 2022 13 cents in 2023 and the projection for 2024 so far is 12 cents now this stock in 2019 its low was a dollar 97 high four dollars and 14 cents in 2020 the low was a dollar 40 i'm sorry in 2019 the low was a dollar 97 high was four dollars and 14 cents in 2020 the low was a dollar and 47 cents high was three dollars and 46 cents 2021 low was two dollars and 91 cents high was eight dollars and 99 cents 2022 low was three dollars and 96 cents high was seven dollars and 33 cents and 2023 low was three dollars and 88 cents high was five dollars and 69 cents so what's the projection for 2024 we see that the current the low price is two dollars and 95 cents the projected high is seven dollars and 97 cents if that happens that will be a gain of a hundred and seventy point seventeen percent and we see they have an earnings report dropping on august 1st once again i don't have the fundamental data on them all that I'm going off of is Yahoo's projection. Now, Heritage Global. This is where I do have the fundamental data. And I will be dropping the fundamental data on this stock in the channel. They are at $2.22 a share. In 2019, their earnings per share was 14 cents. 2020, 32 cents. 2021, 9 cents. 2022, 43 cents. And 2023, 34 cents. And they're projected for 2024 to be 33 cents. This company was... 40 cents at its low in 2019 and a dollar at its high. In 2020, it was 55 cents at its low, $4.20 at its high. 2021, it was a dollar and 37 cents at its low, $4.20 at its high. 2022, it was a dollar two at its low. Two dollars and seventy-five cents at its high, and twenty twenty-three, it was two dollars and twenty-five cents at its low, 
$4.08 at its high. And right now it's at $2.22. And Yahoo Analyst projected to go up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. So, if it increases that way, that will be a gain of 110.36% in the next 12 months. Now, all of these penny stocks that I'm mentioning to you, except for the next one, I actually have in my portfolio. And, um, but this is one where I liked the fundamentals so good that I may be hanging on to this long term. One night, one a year, we have to always see what happens. Maybe it starts to move down and I let it go. But if it's not moving down, I may be holding on to this for years to come. Because if I look at the fundamentals, I could see this being a stock that's maybe in the $20, $30 range in a few years. Now, lastly, those were just three that I mentioned. Heritage Global has an earnings report dropping on August 8th. Those are just three that I mentioned. And for the fundamentally sound stocks, that are on my watch list, I break them down into three categories. Three stars, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which is beneath that. One star, the least fundamentally sound, but still sound enough to be on the watch list. This is a two star, but it was very close to being a one star, or a three star, I'm sorry. Just a few minor things. Now the last stock that we're going to talk about, it's a little more expensive. This is also, well this is a stock I did do the analysis on. I don't find it fundamentally sound at all. But the thing that intrigued me about it was the projection of Yahoo in terms of where it can go. I actually bought an option on it. I made a little money and I sold out. Didn't want to hang around longer. But that stock is Red Robin Gourmet Burgers, a restaurant. Now you'll notice there's negatives all over there 2019 negative 61 cents 2020 negative 19.29 2021 negative 3.22 2022 negative 4.98 2023 negative 1.34 so you see a lot of negative on this um spreadsheet you don't see a P.E. ratio because of all the negatives. But having said that, Yahoo's projection of this stock, it's currently at $7.78. Yahoo projects that it can move up to $15.25 in the next 12 months, that's almost about 100% return. So if I look at the fundamentals for this company, horrible. But, and I'm not saying they are, I'm not sure about this. But if I look at Yahoo's projections as to where the price can go, that's almost 100% return on your money in a year. In any event, I'm just trying to spread the knowledge, guys. I'm not 
trying to give you advice as to what to buy, what not to buy. You can do your own due diligence. But I just see a lot of people going out to buy penny stocks, which are garbage. They lose money every year. And I actually even have a video on the channel talking about why I don't buy penny stocks. Because you have so many companies that lose money every year, but people are looking to buy their stocks. Well, here I presented to you three penny stocks. Let's disregard Red Robin for a moment. Here I presented to you three penny stocks with positive earnings for every year but one that you can consider and do some further research into. In any event, guys, have a great night, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.